Hi, it's Peaky Ghost Fam, and today's episode of Makeup Monday, we are doing this heat miser look. I did a gender bend of the character. Since everybody, every time I want to wear this wig, jokes that is heat miser, I thought, why not freaking own it for the holiday season? I absolutely love the flame liner. This look, it's my favorite part. First, as always, we are going in with our Wet n Wild foundation. This is in the shade Ivory. This is a better skin match than the porcelain one with my pink toned skin. And I have my Moco Clean Red Contacts in. Now, I do not have a discount code for these ones, even though, yeah, I would love to be sponsored by Moco Clean someday because their contacts are so freaking cute. I absolutely love the anime effect on these. So I'm going to blend out that foundation as best as I can. And then I'm going into my NYX concealer as an eye base because we don't go out and get eye primer around here because bitch on a budget. Also, in advance, I am really sorry for this Makeup Mondays episode being uploaded a little bit late, even though I don't think you guys care that much. I've just been running really behind on my schedule. Now I'm going into the Glam Light Scooby-Doo palette and we are starting with this bright orange shade. These shades blow me away every time I use them with how pigmented and bright they are. Like just look at that. That is like the perfect flame orange. And I'm just putting all of that on my lid in a drawn out motion. I really wanted the eyes to look very fiery today. Now I could have started out with the red, but I like the orange to yellow to red flame look a lot more. Now I'm going into my Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going into this yellow because yes, the Glam Light palette does have a yellow, but it is more of a mustard shade and I wanted a bright yellow to blend out from this bright orange very nicely and the blend did not disappoint. I absolutely love how this looked. I was yet again blown away. Now I'm going back to the Scooby-Doo palette and I'm going into this red. This is my new favorite red shade. It is such a deep pigmented true red. It's not like pink toned or any of that. And I'm just going on the outer edge of that look and dragging it into the crease just a little bit, a little bit because I did not want the red to overpower the orange. And then just to add a little bit of sparkle, I went into this orange sparkly shade, which has flecks of pink glitter in it. So it also tied in the red of the look very well. And I'm just putting that on the inner corner and dragging that into the look a little bit, but not too much because I don't want to overpower it. Now it is eyeliner time. I wanted to try something very different and a little bit risky with today's eyeliner. I really wanted to bring the flame aspect. Now I would have loved if I had like a red graphic liner to do this, but we had black. So I started out in this curved motion and then I did all these little squigglies to imitate flames and I left it open. I didn't fill it in right away because I was playing around with the shape. Now it did not look end up looking the same on both eyes. I think that kind of gives the look a little bit of difference and originality and the bangs on the side where it didn't match kind of covered it up anyway. So it ended up not being that big of a deal. We don't go for full symmetry around here y'all, but I love that it actually does look like flames. I love that. I was really scared while doing this eyeliner and I didn't know if it was going to work and it ended up working out better than I thought it would. Then I do the same thing on the other eye, creating the flames motions by doing squiggly inward lines and just having a lot of fun with the shape. You could be as creative and free handed with this as you want, but it does take some eyeliner skills to not mess it up. And then once I had the shape, I went in and I filled it in.
Now, once I let that dry down, I needed this to have a little bit more of an oomph and the black was kind of taking away from the look. So I went in with this straight brush with some glitter, some red glitter, and I just stamped that onto the eyeliner. And I love this because you can't really tell it's there unless the light hits it. So it's a very like subtle detail, but it's there and it's really cool when it's there and it looks really cool in videos. And pictures, you just had to get the light hitting it right. But you want to make sure that the e.l.f. eyeliner is dried down completely before you do this because it is a very watery eyeliner and it will smudge and you will end up messing up the look. I decided I wanted to do a in-long corner so I just took that e.l.f. eyeliner in the corner of my eye and then drew a line and drew that kind of inwards. This ended up really making the look look like the character. He kind of has a mean spirit and you need kind of a bold eye to pull that off. Now I'm going into my NYX pencil in the shade Milk and I am using that to do my waterline. This is my go-to waterline product. I use it every single time I get ready. I was a little bit hesitant to do my big eyes with this look because I really wanted to be careful and not take away from those flames. So I was really hesitant on doing this. But I pushed myself to do it anyway because the big cartoon eyes are such a staple in my style. So you're just going to want to draw your false bottom on. And then for underneath the eye, I wanted to tie in the orange and the red. So I went into our orange shade and I used it as a base. And then once I'm done applying that, I also took that orange shade and I dragged it up underneath those flames and around them as kind of an outline because I kind of wanted to tie those into the makeup look some more. And then I just repeated the same on the other eye. This detail really did end up making the black lighter not stand out as much as it was and it really tied into the look better so I'm really happy that I did that. Then I went in with my small brush and I took some red and I just did that on the outer edge not all the way around just the outer edge of that look. Now, because I did have a fear of uh, overtaking the flames with my bottom lashes that I drawn, I went very, very small with them today. I didn't go very big. I just did them very subtly by flicking the brush in a curved motion and then cleaning it up as I went. For eyebrows today, I did the colored brows by using an eyeshadow on my eyebrow brush. I went in with the same red we've been using. I really wanted the eyebrows to match the wig and I went for my gothic arched brows. I really love these brows. They're becoming my new favorite. Me stepping away from the Tim Burton brows. Oh my God. Well, we are going into a new year, so some things change. I'll do the Tim Burton brows every every once in a while but I'm really loving how these arch brows look they make me look more my age and they sexy as fuck hi <sighs> 
to get rid of this lipstick. It's just not performing as much anymore because I'm squeezing the last bit of product out. I guess it's something that I need to restock. So I went in with my NYX Powder Puff in the shape Group Love, and it did end up performing the way I wanted it to. So what I did was I took that red eyeshadow and I just packed it on top of it. And this ended up making the lip so much more bold. Now, I would have loved to have a red mascara for this look, but all I have is this black. This is from Essence. It is their Princess Lash Curl Mascara, and I love this mascara so much. It's easy to apply, it's not too clumpy, and it makes my eyelashes look really, really pretty. going into my Zulu palette and going into this red because it just has a bigger pan and I am using that. This one's a little bit more pink tone, but I am using this as a blush and this ended up adding some like doll likeness to this look and I thought it was really, really cute. It did take some working around and blending it out in a very nice way, but that's what you get for using highly pigmented colors as a blush. You kind of learn how to work around it and work with it. Now I'm just putting that on my nose pretty heavily because in the movie Heat Miser does have a red nose. I wanted to imitate that but make it cute. I wanted to use that same orange highlight shade that we used before in the eyes as a highlighter. So first I put that on my nose and I also put it on my cheeks and really blended it out. Now I did accidentally put it on the bridge of my nose because I thought it would look good but ended up not looking great. So I ended up taking con some concealer and covering it back up. But you don't know if you're going to like some things unless you try an experiment. Let me know what y'all think of our last holiday look of the season. Yup, I said our last holiday look. I was kind of getting burnt out on the Christmas content, but I do have a Christmas reaction video coming up of reacting to some of my older Christmas cosplays, Christmas looks that I'm excited about and I cannot wait. I hope you spooky ghosts enjoyed and I hope you check out my other videos. We have been really hard at work. We are one away from 300 subscribers, which is super exciting starting the new year off strong and we're not even there yet.